Uh, again, you know, we've we've uh, asked both of our goaltenders and our expectations that it, both of them could go in and play well enough to give us a win. And, and in reality, you know, he was first star. Simple as that. Uh, the way he played and the, the number of saves that he, he made in the third period and quality saves. You know, a lot of times you get a lot of stuff from the outside and what that, but they had some point blank chances and uh, he stood tall to the task, that's for sure. The mood with the team is obviously different in, in one little week. Can you tell us how the, the mood has changed and the confidence built through the week for, for those guys? Well, I, I, it, you'd have to credit the players because they just basically had an agreement that that was enough. Enough was enough because we couldn't continue to go the way we were going in our performance against Boston was one where we just were, in our minds and in their minds, was unacceptable. So they took it upon themselves to, with the responsibility and preparing themselves to play Buffalo. And we came out and we played Buffalo close to the team than, in which we can play to. And then we went into Columbus and played what we would describe two pretty good periods of road hockey and then got away from it a little bit. And then tonight, this is a tough game to play when you got a, the Chicago Blackhawks waiting for you, rested, and you're coming off a back-to-back. -back and, you know, and uh, we stuck with the game plan. We weren't pretty. And our goaltender, you know, gave us a chance in the end. And that's all you can really ask of your team. Is there something five-on-five five that maybe sticks out these last three? More offensive zone time. Given that you were playing the Hawks and that they were arrested, was it inevitable that you were going to get a surge like that in the third period? Yeah, when, when you score the goal, I don't know what time the, the Holland goal went in. It was six minutes in or something like that. I, I'm not 100% sure. You know that the quality of team that they have, the, the amount of times that that hockey club has found ways to get points after being down a goal. You know, they're champions. They've been champions twice in the last five years, correct? So, you know, they've got championship pedigree behind them and they've got some talented players there and they're hard to contain. Conference going on the road now? Well, we're going on the road, obviously, you know, that you have to win on the road to climb in the standings. And our hockey club has played pretty good on the road. You know, I, I don't know if we've, if we lost a game on the road? No. But we haven't played that many. <laughs> you know, we've, I think we've played, we're, we've won three and one overtime, you know, and, and those are the things that you, you hope your players, but, you know, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves here. You know, we've won three in a row, so let's be professional about it. Let's prepare ourselves the right way. Let's get some rest. Let's get, uh, we'll take tomorrow as a little bit of a day off, uh, you know, a carrot for the success that we've had over the last little while, and we'll travel to Phoenix and we'll practice when we get to Phoenix off the plane, and we'll p prepare to play uh, Phoenix on Tuesday night. Randy, is Leo Komarov a catalyst you could play anywhere through your lineup and know he's going to be effective and make others better? Well, he won't cheat you on, on effort and sacrifice. And that's one thing about Leo. He's in on the puck. Um, I thought tonight, uh, you know, in the end, he was a difference maker for blocking shots and being in defensive position. And I think he'd tell you that he made some mistakes with the puck earlier in the hockey game that he'd like to have back. But... Again, that's what you ask of individuals who are able to reach back and give you more. Did you really like the way that line meshed? Call in and say yeah, I, I think, you know, they, they looked, uh, they had good possession time in the offensive zone. They ground some shifts. You know, I, I think they, the move to Santorelli on the wing didn't really change his game plan. So all in all, it was, those are things that you're forced to do when you have injuries.